What is up guys and welcome to tutorial 24. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about multi-dimensional arrays. I'm going to make this kind of short because it's snowing outside for the first time in three years and eventually it'll be able to be sledded on so yeah I'm going to make this pretty short. Um, well the first thing I have here is an array basically a normal array and this is called a one-dimensional array. Now what if we wanted a two-dimensional array? Well basically we're going to do let's just do a little bit array and we're gonna do one so now what we're saying is a two-dimensional array because we have a comma right here and we have two sets of values now you could actually have this blank but you have to initialize the um, you have to initialize it to to what basically this says you can have any amount of indexes and any amount of uh, elements in those indexes but first before you even understand what I just said let's get into let's just do it um, Let's just leave it like this. Basically, this is saying any number of indexes and any number of elements. You basically specify them yourself. So we're going to set this equal to a normal array like that. Now, you're thinking, um, if you set it to a normal array, that's that's a bit weird for a two-dimensional array. Well, actually, a lot. we're going to put two sets of uh, brackets in here, four brackets. Um, just do two brackets on the outside and two brackets on the inside now basically what this does the two brackets on the inside separates indexes this is called index zero index one will be a comma and then um, another set of brackets this is called index one this is called index zero index one index zero sounds like <laughs> watch on watch off watch on watch off anywho uh, now let's do, we're going to do a two-dimensional array with two indexes, well, three because we're starting from zero, but I'm just going to say two, and this is going to be, we're going to set the values of this to one, two, not tab, used to eclipse, three, four, five, and six. Um, now that we have our three indexes, which this will be called two if we're putting it in here this will be basically whenever if you're going to initiate a variable that way say you wanted two indexes that would be basically three of these like this and if you wanted um, three elements in here you put two there so this is this has two elements but the number to declare two elements would be um, one or yeah one so we're actually going to leave this blank so basically what I'm saying here, we're actually going to show this to make this a ton of a lot simpler. There's actually a different way to explain two-dimensional arrays with like tables and stuff like that, but I really think there's no point in that. You guys can Google that if you really want to know how to do it that way, but I think this is much easier to understand. Um, now we're going to display at index 0, remember, that is this first set of brackets like this, and this is index 1, index 2, and we're going to display... Um, what element this is basically this argument is what element we want to display you can either display zero or one now each index starts over a zero so in this is um this is a new index so this three is zero and this is one this is a new index index so this is zero and this is one so let's just do zero zero now you could probably, you can probably already guess what this is going to display index zero which is this this first set of brackets and index um, this is zero and my phone's ringing. I'm gonna pause this I'm back guys sorry about that I have a rebellious brother that gets missing a lot now it's pretty much a phone call about that and I have no idea where I left off at because it's been an hour since I did this but um, I think I was at describing what index this is um, and what we're accessing basically we're going to show um, a message box that shows index 0 and the first element. So the first element will be 1. So this, we're just going to run this. And you should get 1. And what if we wanted to run 3? Well, then we'd go to the second index because 0 is the first. Then we'd go to, it's still 0. And you get 3. Now you could actually do three-dimensional arrays and get on. A, you can go all the way up to 32 dimensions. Um, well, we're not going to talk about um, three-dimensional arrays because if you're really serious about it and you really need a three-dimensional array, 
just Google it because I will just confuse you guys with this tutorial and you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you want to know a little bit, um, basically just think of the dimensions as X, Y, and Z. And that's pretty much all I'm going to tell you because um, it gets pretty confusing. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.